Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. This is uh, lesson 37 and in this uh, tutorial we are going to investigate the effect of a uh, cavity under the shallow foundation. So we will investigate the effect of a cavity on uh, the bearing capacity of the foundation. So uh, our example will be like uh, this figure in this tutorial. As you can see, we have a shallow foundation and also we have one single uh, stiff clay soil layer and uh, there is a, uh, a circular cavity at uh, below the center of the foundation and the distance from uh, the bottom of the foundation to the center of the cavity is 1.5 meter and we will apply a prescribed displacement in this example <coughs> sorry we will uh, apply a 2.5 centimeter prescribed displacement in uh, this example and uh, we will uh, investigate how this cavity affects the bearing capacity of uh, this foundation so also the uh, radius of uh, this circular cavity is 0 0.5 meters and our example uh, will be like this, uh, this uh, uh, 3D uh, geometry of foundation cavity and uh, taken from the plexus. We have the foundation and we have a circular cavity. So the uh, soil uh, contours uh, are 18 meters by 18 meters and uh, the height of soil layer is uh, 9 meter. So uh, again also we can uh, select a point uh, for uh, the curve if we want to draw a low displacement curve. I will not do it in this example actually. You can do it if you want to do it. So right now we uh, start uh, the calculation. We click on calculate. Okay, as we can see the calculation is uh, finished and we don't have any error or problem. So we save the project again. So I click on uh, this space. Uh, this uh, Qultimate uh, without a cavity under the foundation. So we click on edit phase in uh, numerical control parameter. So in uh, rigid values we can see the maximum force reached in uh, this stage is 735 kN if we uh, click on uh, Qultimate uh, when we have the cavity so we can see uh, this uh, maximum force at z direction 
is decreased to uh, 60, uh, 623.5 kilonewton. So if you want to calculate uh, the uh, allowable bearing capacity pressure, for example, if we create a new Excel spreadsheet, maybe we type lesson 37, we click OK. So maybe we can write this one as a force in kilonewton and this one should be Q ultimate and we have case for example when uh, we don't have a cavity and also with the existence of cavity okay as we can see uh, in a situation when the cavity is not exist it was uh, 737.1 kilonewton also in uh, case when we have the cavity under the foundation it is uh, 623.5 so if we uh, calculate the q ultimate q allowable sorry as i said uh, the dimension of the foundation was uh, 2 by 2 so the area will be 4 uh, square meter so to calculate the Q allowable for this example at uh, each case we uh, divide the force divided by 4 so we can see uh, how the cavity affected uh, the allowable bearing capacity of uh, the foundation we can see uh, in in case when we have the cavity, the allowable bearing capacity is uh, decreased from 184 to 155 kilonewton per uh, square meter. Okay, also we can uh, close this tab and we can uh, see uh, the calculation results like uh, displacement contours, vectors, and we can see also uh, the soil arching uh, by the circular cave cavity. So uh, the displacement, uh, the maximum displacement, will be uh, the same at uh, both cases because we imposed. Uh, the displacement to be 0 0.25 uh, meters which is 2.5 centimeter we can uh, click on deformation total displacement and we can uh, click on a vertical cross section like this so we can see this is a case uh, uh, Q allowable uh, without uh, any cavity so we can see the soil contours is like this sorry also in a uh, phase when we have the cavity we can see how the soil contours uh, displacement are changed like uh, this one okay uh, also we can uh, see the maybe I click on windows we can also click on uh, select structure and double click on the foundation for example if we click on force we click for example moment in uh, one one direction we can see for example in uh, when we have the cavity under the foundation 
we can see we can check the maximum uh, moment at uh, each direction this one one two two and one two are uh, the local coordinates as you can see in here this uh, one uh, coordinate direction two and uh, three okay uh, this was for uh, this example and i hope it was clear uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson